Hello everyone, welcome. This video lets you know the Python program that is required to check whether the given number is an Armstrong number or not. So first of all, let us take a look at what is an Armstrong number. So here is the definition. An n digit number that is the sum of the nth powers of its digits is called an Armstrong number. So first of all, let us consider an n digit number 153. So here n is equals to 3. So we have considered an n digit number that is 153 and the sum of the nth powers of its digits. So the digits of 153 are 1, 5 and 3. And here he is saying that the sum of the nth powers of its digits. So here the value of n is 3. So here for every digit we have to calculate the nth power of that. So here 1 power n and here he is saying that the sum. So here 5 power n, 3 power n. So if this sum is equals to this number, then this is an Armstrong number. So actually this 153 is an Armstrong number because it obeys this rule. Sometimes this Armstrong number is also called narcissistic number. So let us code this in Python. So initially we will have a number n equals to let us say 153 the same example that we have considered. So here we have this number. Now we have to know the value of n that means the number of digits in this n. So let me make that the variable order and uh, to find the length of that integer so here we cannot perform the length function on integers so here we have to change the type of that n to string and then we uh, get the length of that string so here order will be equals to n uh, that means the the n that we considered in our example not in this code as here n is 153 so now here or uh, to get uh, each of the digits of these numbers first of all we are going to apply the modulus on this so if we get that n modulus 10 so if we observe here n modulus 10 is equals to uh, 3 as uh, if 153 is divisible by 10 then the remainder is 3 so here we are getting one digit that is 3 and then we will get 5 and then 1 so to get this we have to use loop so let us see how can we use that loop so first of all let us uh, see how can we get the digits so here n modulus 10 is uh, a value that we have as the reminder so here I am going to create a variable reminder and assign that value to that and then here we have this 3 right here in this reminder so there is no problem with this now we want this 5 power n in order to get this first of all we want the value 5 to get that 5 here we can eliminate this 3 and then we can apply that modulus on the remaining number that is 15 how can we eliminate that 3 I have an idea let me share this with you so here we have the value n and here I'm going to uh, subtract the value of reminder from n then that will be equals to 150 so if this is equals to 150 and if I divide this with the 10 then that will become 15 so here I'm going to reassign that to n and you will understand this trick in a second why I have assigned this to n so here first of all we are getting 3 and then we are extracting the 3 from the number and we are storing in this reminder and then we are popping out this 3 from 153 and here n is equals to 15 now in this case and after that we have to do the same thing as we have done in case of 3 then the reminder equals to 15 modulus 10 that will be equals to 5 as we have there so we have to put this in a loop so we can put the loop 
uh, I'm going to use that while loop so while true use these cases so here we are getting the value of reminder but we are not doing any operations on that here I'm going to create a new variable called final and initially that is equals to zero now here final is going to be incremented by the value of reminder power order so here reminder power order so this value is added to this final so now we have we are getting these values it is okay but uh, this will go into an infinite loop if we use true so here to make this possible it is enough if we get reminder to be one then our job is done if we get the all the digits of that so the last one is one so after getting one we don't want loop anymore so here that n will be finally n will be one and after completing that loop n will be zero so here from that case we don't want that loop so we have to destroy that loop so here i'm going to use this condition to destroy the loop if n is equals to zero or less than zero so here we have these conditions now it is okay now if a final is equals to the initially taken number then print that it is an arm strong else print that it is not an arm strong so i hope the code works so let me run this oh yeah it is saying that it is not an arm strong number so what would be the reason of being 153 not an armstrong number so first of all let us print that final and also that n the value of n <clears throat> so here the value of final is 153 and the value of n is 0 so this is the case that we often confuse here the n value after this loop is being zero so here we don't want that we want a duplicate of 153 to apply the conditions of these loops so here to create that duplicate i'm going to create that n1 and that is also equals to 153 so here we are using the duplicate of this number and we are going through this loop and uh, we are storing the value of n in this value so now let us print that duplicate value here along with the final and let me run this code and you can see that these both are equal so here it is enough if we change our code slightly then it works well and you can see that it is an armstrong number so let me remove this print statement and you can see the final output of our code and actually these all are the examples of these uh, armstrong numbers so let me substitute each of those numbers so let us substitute this 8208 and let us see our program works against that big number or not so let me run this now and it says that it is an armstrong number so what if i give eight two zero nine and let me run that code and here immediately we can see that it is not an armstrong number that means our program is working well and this is the python program that is required to check whether the given number is an armstrong number or not and for this video that's it and if you like the video just hit the like button and share this with your friends and subscribe the channel for more videos thank you